Hey everyone, I'm Brian Seeley with uh, Aero Teardrops, and we're gonna tell you about our latest model in the Aero lineup. This is the Burnside model, and um, it's what we call a square drop. Uh, reason for that is, well, not only the shape, but um, you know, in a typical teardrop, you have that teardrop shape with the, with the hatch in the back. And um, so with the square drop, you've got all this, you, don't, you, know, you don't have your, your uh, teardrop shape, and all this space back here is usable. So we'll show you uh, how that space is utilized, how the galley looks and everything in this, uh, in this particular uh, um, square drop. Our burn side starts at just over $15,000. Um, and I know that's, you know that's high in the square drop world. But what we found with square drops is even though they'll come in at six or $7,000, by the time you're done building that trailer and throwing all of your accessories on, you're right in the range that this trailer um, is and it already has most of those items on it. So for instance, you're gonna get your um, aluminum wheels, you're gonna get your um, all-terrain tires. Uh, all of our burn sides come standard with a 3,500 pound uh, timber and suspension on it. So this trailer weighs you know, under 1,500 pounds the way that it sits right now. So that's a lot of capacity to throw gear on, to pack it inside. Um, you're still gonna have that great um, smooth ride with the Timbrin. Um, there's nice heavy duty Jeep fenders. So at the base, you know, at the base of this model, you're getting a lot of great features. Uh, full electrical system, stabilizer jacks, you're getting a powered roof vent which in most cases, when you buy a, a base square drop, you're getting a passive vent. So um, already it's gonna have a powered roof vent, a seven way connector on the front of the trailer. So you're gonna have that ability to charge your battery. Uh, the wheeled tongue jack. There's all kinds of great options on this trailer um, at the base. So, and you'll see as we go through the video, you know, how they compare, uh, you know, our our square drop trailer compares to others, you know, at the starting price. So, um, so first, you know, we'll talk about uh, exterior here. We've got um, on this trailer, one of our uh, sidewall colors that you can choose from. We have, I think, 10 different colors to choose from. A standard, you know, would be a, a clear anodized finish with a wider silver roof. But this particular trailer is in one of our custom um, I think we call it midnight blue, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, there's that and many other colors that you can choose for the side of your trailer. And then on the roof here uh, is a Fresair cooler. So this is an evaporative cooler. It's not a true AC, but we like this option because um, it runs off the same circuitry that the powered roof vent runs off of and really low battery draw. So you're gonna get some cooling inside the trailer without running you know, a generator for an AC unit or having a big power hungry uh, 12 volt system to run one of the 12 volt um, air conditioners. And you know, that is something that is in the future for the burn side, but right now we are uh, focusing on um, just doing the fresh air cooler. And then you get these side windows here. So all four of the windows, the doors and the side windows open and have screens. So you get a nice airflow, nice ventilation through the trailer when you're camping in it. So here on the side of the trailer, we have the inlet for the 120 volt power. This is where you'll plug the trailer in to have the electrical, the 120 volt electrical outlets. It'll also allow you to charge the battery that way too. There's a built-in converter in the trailer. So once you're plugged in, it'll, it'll ramp up and charge your battery. Um, and essentially move all the 12 volt over to the converter as well. So your lights and, and um, fan and all that will work off of that. Next to that is the uh, 12 volt solar panel plug. So this is a connector where you can plug in a regulated uh, portable solar panel. And you know, it's good up to 20 amps. So uh, you can get a fairly large panel um, connected to this trailer to keep your electrical system going and your battery charged. There's a lot that can be done on the roof of the burn side as well. We can do uh, one of our rhino racks on top of the burn side, and that gives you options to mount 
a rooftop tent or any kind of uh, outdoor equipment. You can mount kayaks up there. You can do a storage basket or a platform uh, rack up there. There's just a ton of options once you have the roof rack on here um, that you can do as far as uh, carrying cargo. Yeah, so up here on the, on the tongue of the trailer here on the A-frame, we have our storage box. And this is a great option to have uh, for lots of storage. You can store firewood in here. You can store, you know, a lot of your dirty camping items in here. It's great space, lots of storage. It's really deep, so nice option to have. Our uh, battery is located here. We have a lot of battery options. Um, you know, trailer comes with a deep cycle lead acid battery, but we can do lithium batteries. We can do, you know, pretty much anything you want. AGMs, lithiums, lead acid. We can move the battery into the storage box for security. Uh, for the lithium batteries, we have a heater that's available to keep the um, temperature regulated on the lithium battery if need be. The swivel jack, that's a standard item on all of our trailers now. It used to be an option, but every trailer we're building now comes with a, a swivel jack with a wheel, which is really great. And then here on this, this particular burn side, there's a standard two inch ball. Um, but the really, really great thing is, is that we have options here. So two inch ball is a great tried and true method of towing a trailer. Uh, we have a lock and roll articulating hitch that's available as well for you know getting yourself off the beaten path and then having that security of making sure that that trailer is going to stay coupled and has all the rotation and articulation that you need and we can also do an extended tongue on the burnside model uh, so it's about two feet longer it's got a little bit heavier duty coupler on it and you can do multiple storage options um, up here you can do storage cage which is a nice really heavy duty cage that has a locking handle on it and then you can do a box in front of that you know there's uh opportunities to do bicycle mounts um you name it there's there's a lot you can do on that extended frame option and the the great thing about the extended frame that i think you'll find in a lot of trailers when they get with that frame being extended out there is that they pack it full of a lot of items that causes the tongue weight to be really heavy so with our options you're going to add that weight but it's not going to be so heavy that you can't get that tongue lifted back up off the ground if you happen to come uh, decoupled from your tow vehicle and i know that's an experience that, that a few people have run into with uh, similar kind of off-road teardrops is that dropping that trailer off the hitch and it takes a team of people to lift that back up it also limits you on your tow vehicle too because a lot of vehicles that can tow lighter weights have to be really mindful of the tongue weight and we try to do that we try to be mindful of that tongue weight um, this trailer has a tongue weight that's under 200 pounds so being under 1500 pounds with a lighter than 200 pound tongue weight that means you've got a lot of options for tow vehicles out there plus maneuvering it around um, is much easier with that lighter tongue weight. So something to think about when you're looking for one of these small camping trailers is, you know, what, what are they putting up here? What is the tongue weight? How easy is it to maneuver? How is it gonna be on your tow vehicle? Um, yeah, something to consider. And that's something that we think about when we're designing our trailers. So these uh, rear stabilizer jacks are standard on our trailers as well. And the nice thing is, is once you set up camp, you can roll these down and along with the tongue jack, you've got a nice stable base for your trailer. So while you're sleeping in it at night, you're not, you know, wiggling the trailer around while you're rolling over or anything like that. And it just gives you a nice platform as well. The trailer is going to be nice and secure in its camping spot. So let's talk about what makes the square drop special in my mind. First of all, the simplicity. Uh, you're not having the, the hatch and, and um, you know, all those moving parts with the square drop. You have this back, big back door and um, inside is a galley space. Now, the way we situate the, uh, the galley in our burn side is pretty simple. So I'm going to clip these doors open here. Each side has a, a clip so that it's not getting blown around in the wind. They're really nice heavy duty 
um, door holders. And they clip in real nice and easy and they hold the door stationary for, for while you're using this um, galley back here. And I think by the time this video actually comes out, we're gonna be uh, converted over to using one big door back here, um, just to add to the, to, to the simplicity of the square drop. So having the one door, there's fewer moving parts, fewer seals, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, that's going to, um, you know, make easier for longevity and, and for, for camping. It'll allow you to use this galley a little more efficiently too. So galley space in this trailer, Right off the bat, it's a really simple galley area. It's more, of, actually, more storage than than anything. You have a you have a counter space, and you have these nice big storage um, cabinets up here. And this is actually the same cabinet that's in our five x ten teardrop trailer. So same great design, same great workmanship. The full electrical system is back here. There's a 120 volt um, power receptacle if you're hooked up to power. You've got 12 volt power back here and lights. There's a little porch light back here, an inside light for using it at night. And then what I really like about the square drop is that this space is open. So there's a lot of customizations that we can do as a manufacturer down here. But we're kind of catering more towards people that like to do a little bit of DIY work too. So we have customers that have purchased this model and have built their own stove slide outs. They've put their own cooler slide outs in. They've done their own drawers. It's really fun to see how people can kind of get creative with it. Now we can do all that too. Uh, we can do a cooler slide. We've got that available. We've got a drawer stack available. We've got a pull out stove available. Um, we can do integrated propane. Um, we can put the Propex furnace in this trailer. So there's really tons of options um, for this trailer. And we're getting to use all the space, which is nice. So this equates into having more room in the cabin, which I really like. It makes the cabin feel more open, more spacious. And it actually feels like a much bigger trailer than it than it really is. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, you know, the key points on the galley, um, again, simple, lots of good usable space and lots of options that we can do back here. And, you know, our base on this trailer, like I said, was, you know, right over 15,000. And this trailer as it sits is just uh, a little over 19,000. So still under the 20,000 mark, which is nice. Um, and you're getting a ton of great features. So here on this side of the trailer, we have a side mounted spare. And this is the spare option that we have for the burn side. Um, since it has the all-terrain tires, um, we don't do an undermounted spare on this model just because you know it's gonna take a lot of the ground clearance away. So we do this side mounted spare. Um, it's mounted to the strongest point in the wall. The load is spread really nice. So you don't have to ha ever have to worry about this uh, mount like messing with any of the integrity of the trailer, which is great and important. Um, also nice for when you know you're off the beaten path, you know that timber and suspension is going to allow you to get out where you want to go, you know, get off the pavement a little bit, get where the people aren't, and having this spare, you know, as peace of mind to uh, it's a matching spare as well. Having that as peace of mind, you know, to, to have that tire in case you encounter a puncture along the way is, is nice to have. And we're going to talk of, about a few more of the features on this trailer. Um, each side uh, has its own porch light. And that's activated by a little switch here on the ceiling. So you're just going to reach in and hit the switch and um, that'll activate the porch light. So you've got those switches that activate that light. And then there's an interior light too. It's on the same little bank of switches. So you've got interior lighting and then your switch for the other porch light as well. Another great feature that we offer with our teardrop trailers and our square drop here are these insulated blackout curtains from a company called Van Made Gear. They're local to us um, in the Portland, Oregon area. And these are great. They, they um, attach with some magnets around the window frame and they're fully insulated and they're nice, they're nice soft curtains. So they'll roll up. Um, you can stick them kind of up, you know, for ventilation if you want it. You can fold them in half and still use the screen. 
but they attach on there really nice. This will help uh, quite a bit with condensation inside the trailer too, because all the windows are gonna be insulated um, and they just pop off with magnets. You can roll them up. They come with a little carrying bag and it's a great feature that we offer, you know, with, with, um, with our trailers. So uh, yeah, let's head inside the burn side now and I'm gonna tell you about um, the, the, the cabin of the burn side and the features that, uh, that it has. So here we are in the uh, cabin of the burn side trailer and you can see that we are using you know, the same great uh, materials that we use in our teardrop trailers. In fact, that cabinet up there is the same cabinet that we're using in our um, teardrop trailers. And that's the nice thing. We we're able to cross over a lot of items um, from our teardrops to the square drop. So uh, this is the same cabinet, but the cool thing is, is with the square drop, we we're able to push it towards the back of the trailer a little bit more, giving you more cabin room. So when you're inside this trailer, it actually feels really nice and spacious. And it allowed us to add these extra windows on the side of the trailer too, for more light, more ventilation, it just gives you more of that open feeling inside the trailer. You can also add a um, stargazer window. So five windows total that you could have in this trailer, which would re which really makes it great. And we offer, you know, shades for everything. So if you uh, had order a burn site and you want the blackout curtains, we can do all the windows, which is really great. So another great feature that sharing things between the teardrop and the square drop is this interior table. Now the burn side is built on the same chassis as our um, teardrop. So it's really nice because it's one chassis, one frame for, for all three of the models. Um, and same underfloor storage compartment and the ability to do the interior table in the burn side. And with this more spacious cabin, you know, it gives you more options to maybe put a small chair over here and have kids sit across from you. So uh, I've, you know, a little bit more versatility to the to the space. Uh, so I'll demonstrate how this interior table works. It's really simple. The lid pops up. It's fairly lightweight. And then the leg just pops into this little pedestal on the floor. And same with the table. And just like that, you've got your uh, interior table. And then, you know, when you're ready to sleep it's the same process this just tumbles down into the floor really quick and easy and then the mattress it's a cinch just uh, tumbles out and what i'll do in my trailer too is i can leave my sheet on here and stuff and it still folds up pretty nice with the mattress Yeah, so let's look at the cabinetry in this uh, in this trailer. So this is really a nice big storage cabinet up here. All of the doors have these locking latches on them, so nothing's going to come flying out while you're traveling. There's three doors; they all open really nice. They all latch, so you've got a great place to put a duffel bag. I mean, you can pack this full of all kinds of fun stuff. And the same with the shelf here; you've got a lot of room. You know, stick some extra shoes up here, some board games. The cabinetry in the burn side, not only with its great storage, you know, you have in the standard cabinetry, there's customizations you can do to this um, cabinetry. We have a fold down bunk that's available for, for kids. Um, and it's big enough, you know, to sleep a, a couple of kids if you wanted to. I mean, it, it ends up being close to 30 inches wide and then the full width of this trailer, which is 58 and a half inches. So that's a nice area. Actually, we have a customer who had us put the bunk in and that's where his dogs sleep at night. So that's a great option too. Um, we can also do a f the flat screen DVD player. That is um, something that we have available in both our steel and Burnside models. And there's stereo available. There's you know a lot of stuff that we can do in this trailer you know, to customize it and make it your own. And then up here at the head of the bed, you've got reading lights. And, and this is all part of the 
what's standard on the burn side too. So you're getting all of this stuff um, at the, you know, at the base um, with the burn side, the cup holders, these corner shelves, there's power here, there's USB, there's 12 volt power, reading lights, um, which have a night and a full on mode. This bracket here is for a CPAP shelf that we do. And we have a lot of teardrop customers that use CPAPs at night. So it's important to have that power and a way for um, them to have their CPAP near them at night. And I'll show you how that works. We've actually got a bracket on either side of the trailer so they can use this table. There's a little shelf that you, know, you can stow away, um, but it hangs on either side. We've got a nice place to put the CPAP. New to our lineup, um, we build this, our square drop trailers, you know, with the same uh, mentality that we build our um, teardrop trailers. So, um, you know, premium, uh, premium products, um, the same fit and finish, the same quality, the same, you know, build standards as our steel and our steel HC model. Um, so what you're getting is a, a square drop that. Um, in most cases is kind of a lower end trailer. Um, you're getting a really high quality uh, um, trailer.